I love PBS. From Masterpiece Theater and Call the Midwife to Wild Kratts and Sesame Street, it's got great documentaries and content for our whole family. And the best part about PBS is that even without cable, you can watch PBS for free. Many of you have asked how to watch PBS without cable. Unfortunately, not all live TV streaming services carry PBS, so you may have to find a different way to watch it. Thankfully, you have options. In this video, we're going to show you five ways to do it. Let's start with number one, an over-the-air antenna. An antenna is the best way to watch local stations without cable, including PBS. We reviewed a Mohu antenna we really like, so watch that video for more information. But basically, there's just a one-time upfront cost to buy the antenna, and then you get all your locals free for life. They're super easy to set up. Even I can do it. In fact, you can install yours in less than five minutes. Keep in mind that you will need one antenna per TV that you want to watch PBS and other locals on. But what if you don't live in an area where you can get your local PBS station over an antenna, or you don't want to purchase one? Thankfully, there are four other great ways to stream PBS, starting with the PBS app. Like many other networks, PBS has an app. It's free to download, and it works on Roku, Fire TV, Android, and iOS smartphones and devices. Here, we'll show you how to find and install the app on an Android device. Just open the Play Store app, enter PBS, and download the app. From the home screen, you'll see shows you can start watching as well as a live TV button, which you can click to start streaming your local PBS station. When you watch live TV the first time, the app will find your local station and adjust the content to where you live. In our case, that's Nebraska. Then you'll see live content in the main frame of the screen, followed by a guide to show you what's on throughout the day. Yeah, we thought the experience was pretty smooth on the phone, but what if you have a Roku or Fire TV that you want to use to watch PBS shows? Let's look at how to install and watch PBS on Roku. From a computer, launch an internet browser and enter channelstore.roku.com. Enter PBS into the search field and click to install it. Do the same with the PBS Kids app as well, if you want. Then head over to your TV. You'll see the PBS app on your Roku home screen. You can also use the Add Channel button from the Roku home screen to add the apps. Once you launch the PBS app, it will ask you to activate it with a code. You'll need a laptop for this. Press the Activate button on your Roku and then go to pbs.org backslash activate. Enter the code from your TV. If you don't already have one, create a free PBS account. After confirming your account, you'll see a message that your Roku is activated and the app will launch on the TV. If you have an Amazon Fire TV, the steps to using the PBS app on a Fire device are similar. Just find and install the app on your Fire TV stick and launch the PBS app. From there, steps will be the same. Once in the PBS app, you'll see rows of content and a bar across the middle of the screen that says Live TV. Click it to watch your local PBS station live. There's a ton of content that is free on a PBS app, but there's also premium content that you'll need a Passport subscription to access. Passport content requires a $5 per month or $60 per year or more donation to access. However, if you love PBS content and you want to support public media, this could be a worthwhile option for you. Yeah, but thankfully you can stream live member stations for free through the app. You don't have to make a donation for that. Back to the PBS app. This functions like any other streaming app. There's rows of content organized by categories to make it easier for you to find what you want to watch. When something requires a passport subscription, you won't be able to watch it. You can search for anything using the search function, browse shows, and add things you're interested in to your list by clicking add to my list. It's pretty straightforward. Yeah, however, looking at the content that's there, we wouldn't recommend a passport subscription unless you're really a die-hard PBS fan or, like we said, you want to support public media. If all you want to do is stream PBS for free, you can do so on the PBS app by clicking Live TV. But there are more ways to watch PBS without cable. Let's look at a third option, the PBS website. You can watch PBS online for free through the PBS website. Just go to pbs.org, and then you want to click the Live TV button in the top right. If you already have a PBS account, your local content will populate, and when you press play, you'll be able to watch your PBS live stream. If the wrong local content is displaying, or you want to see another station's feed, click the arrow in the top right corner. 
On our screen, it says Nebraska Public Media. Then click Change Your Local Station. You'll see other closed stations, in our case, Iowa, or the option to browse for more stations. While watching PBS online, you can turn on closed captions, expand the window to full screen, and get a look at what's coming up soon on your local station. Now let's look at a fourth way to watch PBS without cable, and that's through a live TV streaming service. There are currently only two live TV streaming services that carry PBS, DirecTV Stream and YouTube TV. This is a really expensive way to watch PBS, so we wouldn't recommend either if all you're trying to do is watch PBS. Also, PBS isn't available everywhere on DirecTV Stream or YouTube TV. Right now, PBS is available on YouTube TV or DirecTV Stream in over 100 markets. PBS says it's working to expand access to all of its member stations, but if you aren't in one of those markets, you won't be able to watch PBS through either service. Search both first before signing up to see if you'll be able to get PBS through them. We really don't recommend DirecTV Stream at all and would only recommend YouTube TV if it has everything you're looking for in a cable replacement. Remember, an antenna is still the best way to get your local stations without cable. And yeah, now let's look at one final way to watch some PBS content without cable, and that's through Netflix or Amazon Prime Video. Now you aren't going to get your local PBS station this way, so it's not ideal. But if you already have subscriptions to Netflix or Amazon Prime Video, you can search for PBS content to find shows. Amazon has more than Netflix, but a lot of it may require rental or purchase to watch. Our absolute best ways are an antenna or the PBS app. Even the PBS website provides an easy way to watch your local station without cable. More networks are creating their own apps or offering ways to live stream their content without cable. Between those apps and an antenna, there's very little you need cable to get today. If you're still paying for cable to get PBS, you can cancel with confidence today and start streaming for free. If you're new to streaming, check out the other videos on our playlist to find the best way to watch your favorite shows and sports for the best price possible. Yeah, and if you already use the PBS app, let us know what you think of it in the comments below. Do you subscribe to PBS Passport? Do you think it's worth the price? And if you haven't already, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you can get all our latest news and reviews when they drop. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in our next video.